so in this video we will talk about about the sport and movement in an animal the sport and movement in an animal is we will discuss about the overview of all the diagram so here we will talk about the sport and movement in an animal which that is uh, in the form of skeleton that is the uh, uh, sport and movement is due to the skeleton that is the skeleton system is composed with the dif different animals composed hydrostatic skeleton exoskeleton and endoskeleton so first of all we will talk about the hydrostatic skeleton the hydrostatic skeleton are present in the invertebrate uh, animal the invertebrate animal which that is not composed with the spinal cord the vertebrae and uh, basically the hydra and octopus uh, mollusk and snail which that is composed of the uh, and earthworm which that is composed of the uh, hydrostatic skeleton so what is the meaning of hydrostatic skeleton the hydrostatic skeleton is the fluid filled cavity which that pr promote and give the uh, rigidity of the animal due to the water pressure so that the hydra and uh, other soft bodied animal which that is the diploblastic can be triploblastic animals uh, invertebrates so in this way the water filled inside of the that is known as gastrovascular cavity which that is filled by the uh, water and some fluid uh, sodium potassium um, nitrogen and mineral some and fluid uh, composed with fluid and that is known as gastrovascular cavity that's composed with a fluid filled cavity and that is the epithelial cells are present inside for the absorption of the food due to the uh, when food intake into the gastrovascular cavity uh, which mix into the water and by a enzyme that secrete from the epithelial cells uh, which that's shown in the here and that's absorb food and but on the other hand we uh, we are discussing about the skeletal system so here the pressure created by the fluid filled cavity that's pressure created to produce a hardness of the animal and their rigidity is the possibility for the erection for the movement in the water or outside of the water for example earthworm so now we will talk about in uh, the hydrostatic pressure exert the force outside due to water pressure which that is are present inside of the animal uh, due to the sodium absorption of the uh, water and that's inside force exert by the wall of the animal uh, which that is a com uh, composed of the epithelial cells and upper layer of the cells uh, which that is diploblastic and that's the hydrostatic pressure exert the force outside due to water pressure and the wall of organism which that is uh, uh, exert the force inside so that's force will create a rigidity and movement of an animal so no uh, i hope you make sense about the overview of the sport uh, of the animal due to the hydrostatic skeleton now we will discuss about the exoskeleton there's the uh, another things exo mean outside hydro mean water exo mean outside and endo mean inside so exoskeleton is the skeleton which that is surrounded by the animal which that is whole body covered by the exoskeleton for movement and sport so here is the arthropod uh, which contain uh, legs and there's the uh, another is the mollusk which that is composed with a shell is made up of calcium carbonate deposition and that is the example of the exoskeleton so the exo mean outside now we will discuss about the formation of the exoskeleton there's a exoskeleton is uh, major arthropods that is a jointed legs and mollusk uh, here is the 
um, procuticle and epicuticle is uh, below the epicuticle is procuticle and inside is known as endocuticle endo mean inside pro mean before the epicuticle before the cuticle and that's epicuticle is made up of waxy protein layers uh, which pro uh, which protect from microorganism and water invasion so that's the prevention of water and microorganism is due to the epicuticle and that's epicuticle is made up of waxy pro waxy and different types of protein a waxy layers which protect from microorganism and water invasion uh, which that is here i can write here so another we will talk about the procuticle that procuticle is living and that's uh, which that is uh, used for the integument integumentation with the endocuticle there's a uh, basically attachment mechanism due to the procuticle so the procuticle is made up of chitin and that chitin is uh, give the toughness and composition of the chitin uh, and procuticle sorry so procuticle made made up of polysaccharides the polysaccharide mean the sugar molecules composed with a chain and that's known as poly mean many saccharone mean sugar there's a polysaccharides and some protein content there's some protein content mean that, that there is the more proteins are present uh, in the procuticle so it's provide the toughness and rigidity hardness and uh, protection so now we will talk about the mechanism that is the arthropod is uh, live uh, basically it's periodically shedding the exoskeleton due to the growth because growth is stopped due to the exoskeleton dead exoskeleton so the periodically shedding is the major key to uh, growth of the animal so here is the epicuticle and procuticle is crystal of calcium carbonate deposition of calcium into the procuticle to become a rigidity and uh, to become a rigid and that's rigidity is uh, sport to the animal so is the deposition of calcium to hard is known as sclerotization that's a sclerotization is due to the hardness uh, by the deposition of calcium carbonate to form a crystal formation so in this process process the periodically shedding of the exoskeleton is known as ectasis or molting the ectasis is the uh, ectasis is due to the uh, enzyme use uh, throughout the periodically shedding uh, one cycle is hormone used the animal shed its exoskeleton periodically and replaced by large size of skeleton by new production of exoskeleton that's the epicuticle will be produced so here's the number one we will talk about here is that is the animal shed its exoskeleton periodically and replaced by large size of skeleton by new procuticle so the new procuticle will be formed so how this happen how uh, will be happen about that ectasis process now we will discuss about the ectasis process which that is the epicuticle and and old endocuticle basically digestion by pro uh, production of enzyme so enzyme will be produced and that's gland we secrete enzyme that's all things is done by the nervous system of the arthropods exoskeleton is due to the um, nervous system controlling system a uh, nervous system control so here is the epicuticle and here is the old endocuticle digestion by production of enzyme is here which that is producing enzyme and between that is the uh, looking here that is the animated diagram which that is show in the endocuticle that is show in the layer like structure so here you can uh, understand about that things and that's gland which secrete enzyme is ectasin that's enzyme the name of 
enzyme the major name of the enzyme is known as ectoxin so here is the separation of endocuticle and exocuticle will be occur so here endocuticle and uh, exoskeleton uh, will be separate due to the production of enzyme and the um, endocuticle will be separate by the digestion due to the enzyme so here the uh, basically you can see here that is the gland which secrete enzyme and that will be form is here So now we will talk about the uh, separation of endocuticle and exocuticle. Now uh, you can watch here that is the here is the ex, um, exoskeleton and that is the endocuticle and uh, exoskeleton will be separate due to the production of enzyme. So the exodicin is the control by that hormone. Ectasis is basically sorry. Ectasis is the control by the hormone ectasin through nervous system. So the nervous system will be control the whole process uh, as well. So here I can write here. Now we will talk about the whole separation to produce a new layer which that is known as epicuticle and that is uh, a procuticle which that is further form into the epicuticle as a exoskeleton by the deposition of uh, calcium carbonate and the other mechanism uh, which that is used to hardening of the exoskeleton and that's the hardening and deposition of calcium carbonate to become a again that process but the main mechanism mechanism is that the uh, exoskeleton will be formed a uh, bigger than the uh, previous exoskeleton because the growth formation that's the growth will be increase the size of the animal so that is why the exoskeleton is shed periodically now we will talk about the exos endoskeleton sorry so endoskeleton mean the inside uh, so it means the animal and now we will discuss about the here is the uh, human being which that contains skull and that's the axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton that is skull is here and vertebral column and um, pelvis which that is the uh, axial skeleton that's composed with the axial skeleton and here is the rib and humerus cap uh, here is the femur uh, ulna and radius uh, looking here and that is the basically here is here you can uh, see here is the pelvis and here is the coccyx which that is the end of the uh, vertebral column and here is the fibula and tibia which that is showing in the figure so here is the tarsal metatarsal and phalanges but on the other hand carpal and metacarpal and phalanges in the um, forelimb and here is the hind limb which that is showing in the leg hind limb and forelimb that is a uh, forelimb is hand and hind limb is composed with the feet and fibula tibia and uh, femur the femur is the longest bone in the human body. And we will talk about the hair, the axial skeleton, which that I draw a color, the uh, orange color shows that the axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton shows that the blue color. Now we will talk, uh, talk about the skull which that is basically skull is made up of different uh, bones and that's bones some bones in the form of pair and some bone in the form of non-unpair 
so that we will talk about in the next tutorial about the structure whole structure of skeleton but here is the overview and so uh, i can explain is the, here is the parietal bone temporal bone occipital bone and here is the asphenoid bone and uh, external auditory canal and here is the external auditory canal and mandible is the uh, down of the teeth side uh, composed with the down teeth and upper teeth composed with the maxilla and here is the lacrimal nasal zygomatic bone and ethmoid bone so as you can see here that is the zygomatic bone and here is the nasal bone sphenoid bone basically is here and you can see here that is no next we will talk about the whole skeletal system of an animal but in the human being we can discuss about also so skull and no we'll talk about the ribs and ribs is composed with the sternum and sternum attached with the ribs but two rib, two pair of ribs will not attach with the sternum that is known as floating rib and that is floating ribs and 12 pair of rib are present in the human being so here is the uh, basically attached with the vertebral column but uh, sternum attached with the 10 pair of ribs so here is the vertebral column which that composed with the cervical region and thoracic region and lumbar region and sacral and coccyx region So I hope you make understand about that uh, about that um, uh, structure of the uh, endoskeleton. So endoskeleton is the function of endoskeleton. We will talk about here. So the skeleton is uh, made up of bones and cartilage. That's a bone. It is a most rigid form uh, of uh, connective tissue that is made up of tissue and that is known as connective tissue because it's uh, composed with the connection of the uh, cells so like a blood is also connective tissue which composed with the different cells so here is the bone uh, basically here is the cartilage composed with the hairline cartilage and fibrocartilage the hairline cartilage are present between the joint for the flexibility and for using for the movement and fibrocartilage which that is the epiglottis and pinna of ear which that is produced and uh, you can he watch here that is the bone which that composed of spongy bone and hard bone and inside of the bone is known as bone marrow that's bone marrow produce uh, bone bone marrow produce um, erythrocyte leukocyte t cell and some precursor of T cells uh, which that is used for the immune system so that is the production due to the bone marrow which that are present inside of the bone uh, which that is soft and color is white so now we will talk about the basically the um, um, fibrocartilage which that is made uh, are present in the epiglottis and pinna of ear in the human and function of bone is the basically skeleton system uh, strength blood pressure production and movement so that's all thing is uh, done due to the uh, skeleton of the uh, basically endoskeleton thanks for watching please subscribe and like share ask the question for answer and some uh, comment about the artwork and some graphics thanks